Hello, this is one of a series of physics test prep videos. This video focuses on waves, light, and optics topics. Uh, first, the content and language objectives. Uh, the content objective is I can review for an upcoming test over waves. Uh, the language objective is I can ask questions about waves content that I am not familiar with. Uh, first, just a one minute uh, waves review. On the top left pictures uh, show convex and concave lenses. Convex lenses, uh, they are thickest in the center. Uh, what they do is produce real images. They invert images. So whatever looks like it would be on the top uh, now appears on the bottom. Uh, concave lenses, they're just the opposite. They kind of cave in in the center. They're thinnest in the center. Uh, and most younger people's glasses are concave lenses uh, where images are not inverted, uh, but things oftentimes appear smaller. In the very center of this picture, there is a V F lambda, a velocity, frequency, wavelength equation, where velocity equals frequency times wavelength. On the top right is Snell's law. Snell's law uh, explains the relationship between speed of light and angle of light as it refracts or bends from one substance to another. In the bottom right corner is just another equation that has to do with frequency and period. Uh, they are inversely related. So the longer the period, uh, the shorter the frequency. So the greater one value, the lesser the other. Uh, wave test prep questions. Uh, so on this page, there are five different questions that have to do with these waves concepts. Uh, my recommendation would be to pause this video to look through these problems and try to solve them all and sort of see where you get stuck. Uh, whenever you're finished going through these problems, just hit the play button again, and I'll go through and solve these with you. Uh, the first problem involves velocity, frequency, and wavelength. It says if the speed of a wave is 14 meters per second and the wavelength is 2 meters, what is the frequency of this wave? And so you're given velocity, uh, 14 meters per second, wavelength, 2 meters, asked to solve for frequency. So you're going to use the triangle that's on the right-hand side uh, that has V for velocity, uh, F for frequency in hertz, and then wavelength in meters. And so V is equal to F times lambda. Uh, or 14 is equal to F times 2. And then if you decide, divide both sides of the equation by 2, uh, you get 7 hertz is your frequency. The second problem I think is the most difficult here that has to do with Snell's law. It says light is traveling through water, where N is equal to 1.3, at 42 degrees with respect to the normal. As it passes into a new material, it leaves at an angle of 58 degrees. What is this material's index of refraction? So the N values, N1 and N2, they are the indices of refraction. Uh, basically, the lower this number is, the faster light travels through a substance. And so through a vacuum, N would be 1.0. So it travels at the full normal speed of light. Uh, and the bigger the N value is, the slower, again, light is going to travel. Uh, I would take these different values that are labeled here, N1 times sine theta 1, or 1.3, times sine 42, making sure that your calculator is in degrees, is equal to N2 times sine 58, uh, 58 degrees being that in the, uh, angle of refraction. Uh, what I end up with in my calculator when I typed in 1.3 times sine 42 is equal to 0 0.87. And then I came up with a value of uh, 0 0.85 uh, when I typed in sine 58 in my calculator. Uh, to isolate in, what I would do then is take uh, my 0.87 divided by 0.85, and I come up with an index of refraction of 1.02 for this problem. Types of lenses and images is the third problem we took a look at here. It says the image to the right is a blank lens. It would invert what you're looking at and produce a blank image. And so this just problem sort of demonstrates uh, how a convex lens works. Uh, it's thickest in the center, and it's going to invert. It's going to flip upside down your image. And so if you look at the dotted lines I added here, what you see is that the top of this lens uh, is actually going to show you what's on the bottom of your field of view in the purple dotted line here. Uh, the blue dotted line, whatever you look at at the bottom of the uh, lens, is going to appear at the top. And so in the picture in the bottom right, you can see that that's flipped. And so again, convex lenses like the one shown here produce a real image. Problem number four involves frequency and period. It says if the speed of a wave is 14 meters per second and the wavelength is two meters, what is the period? 
Uh, this is a little bit more complex problem because you need to use two equations, the velocity frequency wavelength equation that we've already used, as well as the equation on the bottom, f is equal to one over t. And so the first thing you have to do is you have to solve for frequency so that you can solve for period. Uh, the way that you solve for frequency uh, is velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. So 14 is equal to f times two. Uh, just like we figured out before, the frequency is seven hertz. And once you, know, uh, once you know, excuse me, what your frequency is, frequency is equal to one divided by period. And so frequency seven is equal to one divided by t. t, or your period, the time uh, that it would take between waves is 0.14 seconds. The last problem here has to do with the anatomy of a wave. It says label each of these structures in the wave found below. Uh, so this is a transverse wave. Uh, the top of a wave F is the crest of a wave. Uh, the bottom of a wave H is the trough. Uh, the distance from crest to crest or the time from crest to crest or trough to trough or any repeating uh, portion of a wave is the wavelength if we're talking distance, period if we're talking time. And then the height of a wave from that equilibrium point, from that at rest point to the top or bottom of a wave is the amplitude. Uh, that's the end of this video, summarizing waves concepts, light and optics concepts that would be on a test or quiz in physics. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.